right guys we have made it to the winery uh, it was about a 45 minute uh, maybe 50 minute drive out here uh, through some really probably some rough parts of the industrial areas um, but man once you get out here it is gorgeous um, like I said before this is Concha y Toro and just walking into this place um, it has a really good feel to it um, it's very pretty so looking forward to getting this tour started uh, it starts probably here in about 10 minutes um, here in this little area over here there is like a gift shop there's a wine shop and there's also a restaurant uh, which we'll all check out after the uh, the tour begins so um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with us and uh, yeah it should be exciting from Texas yeah similar flag from our country yeah exactly exactly the oldest farm of this vineyard everything started out here 150 years ago roughly as a vineyard 22 rooms here 22 rooms eight extra living rooms uh, as a summer house just summer house for the founder and owner of this vineyard <laughs> my unit my apartment just maybe one room size of this <laughs> it is fine, fine for downtown <laughs> purposes but this yeah, is magical know. this is why uh, actually strong uh, building it uh, you know guys we have plenty of uh, Earthquakes, earthquakes in yeah. Chile, even more than Japan. Not as strong as in Japan, but quite more often than that country. And a lot of time, one of the good things about Chile is the quality of the buildings. Mm. Houses, big uh, apartments, a structure, a, a bridges, they're really good. That's one of the good things we produce in this country. A uh, show garden we created 14 years ago, especially for our visitors. The board is here, so the land, for instance, all the white grapes on the right, the other one on the left. Real trees, small, not too tall because of the lack of water, the big trough I've been talking to you about. Mm -hmm. You will see those houses uh, at the back, the pipes, plant ones. Irrigation system, control, dripping system, drop by drop, how much? No more than two liters per week in summertime. Now, fall, winter, one liter per week for each of them. Every single week. Hmm. Those wires, we call it the vertical trellising style. We're gonna keep as straight as possible so the sunlight can reach in an evenly way every single leaf bunches and future grapes in this area in this garden we will never collect the or we, ne we will never harvest the grapes compared to the other area after those bushes the last couple of people at the back mm -hmm. start the real production of the Cabernet Sauvignon area mm -hmm. till the back of that big hill you are watching at the very back all that farm 170 acres size three times bigger than this whole visitor center where the harvest season is doing by hand selected grapes for our ultra premium wine brand called Terunio one of the wines we're gonna try in a couple of days they're quite small but they're still available both uh, as a raisin quite dry yeah you will see yeah. quite small but if you shoot this one so sweet mm. if not you can try the normal one always carefully we will never take all the whole bunch out but yeah. one by one, one by. as many as you want okay. if any of you guys didn't take breakfast today take advantage <laughs> now we no definitely did not problems no diabetes no, 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 no. because the sugar <laughs> <laughs> after the experience for five tours or four tours per day after my coffee in the morning it's like I feel like many Red Bulls inside of me. <laughs> you normally, they will not get bigger than that size, actually. Yeah. A slightly bigger. 
and here compared to the production area the sun you will see a lot of mixture of shade and sun which is not good for the leaves or for the bunch in the same bunch you will see different sizes some of them different colors some of them they look like white because they, they didn't reach the right amount of water um, because also besides we are covered by the trees yeah. we, we did it in purpose now right now it's perfect weather it's the best weather to arrive here guys by one month two months ago this is the real hell <laughs> I've never been to just New York the only place I know but I don't know if Phoenix or something like that I don't know the plain desert here is strong yeah it's like a chicken roast chicken feeling <laughs> <laughs> just like an oven uh, no humidity so if you're sweating the drop is attached to your, your <laughs> it's incredible but now it's perfect I feel hungry after the experience. Yeah, That's why we have the restaurant too there. Normally 70 milliliters. Now it's 100. More than take it. For the less for the first one. That's for me too because I speak too much. I need a reward for yeah, today. I mean, come on. My contract is uh, they allow me to drink <laughs> as much as I want and as I can. And I get used to a lot actually. <laughs> yeah, let's do it proper way. Yeah, yeah, proper way. Proper. Grand Reserva like big reserve in English but it's not the type of wine that's our brand called Grand Reserva Sauvignon Blanc not planted here this valley is called Maipo Valley that valley where it was produced this wine is called Chawa Valle de Colchawa Colchawa Valley one year old from the harvest season 12.5 percentage of alcohol more than a beer mm -hmm. more than a course than a bat but why is there light for sure mm -hmm. but uh, you will see okay ah but look at this uh, tupper or the cork made of aluminium inox not the classical yeah for why because this wine didn't spend any time inside the barrel no aging process for this so doesn't require to get inside here it doesn't get better with the time mm. we can keep the quality of the wine with the time but they can decline but never get better so the same 2022 the same like at 2018 there are changes uh. never get better compared to the wines the red ones and definitely there is a different option here always call for this wine and two techniques three techniques to drink the wines we will never drink the wine immediately we will need always to check the color first the color of the wine then the aromas and then the flavor finally all of them with a special technique we're going to do it all together at the same time also the way to grab the glass from the neck or from the base mm. we will never get a glass wine from this way otherwise we can warm the glass up very quickly. The heat in our fingers mm. is so strong. So we can always from here or from the base. So guys, for the first tasting, please grab your glasses. Don't drink it yet. We need to tilt the glass in 45 degrees with a little bit of, little bit of sun is fine. The sunlight soft. It's a very weak yellow color. Green notes, very weak. Mm -hmm. It's like an olive oil color, they say. The mm -hmm. same you put it in your salad, it's the same you will get here. Uniform color from the top, from the border, practically, basically, it never changes the color. It's very similar in any single place, part of the glass. No golden strong note like a Chardonnay. Made. Second part, aromas. Without mixing the glass, we're gonna put our nose inside of it small soft inhalation or sniffs Whew. never strong never too deep something fruity mm. something tropical and citrus but not too strong that doesn't mean that this wine uh, doesn't have that strength of aromas but this is the idea the clue for any single wine experience before drinking we will need to do this fast movement on the air as a washing machine strong otherwise on the bar on the table 
how long? Between five up to eight or ten seconds. That's perfect. That's good. Check that almost again, guys. Check it. Check the difference. Mm. Yeah, it just opened up. That's correct. They were closed. Now they're open. We just oxygenated mm. the wine. We just free the aromas. We can say subjecti subjectively green apple, a pear, mm. a peach maybe, about the fruity aromas. Citrus like lime or lemon, tropical sensations like uh, passion fruits and pineapple at the very end. If you feel any of you guys don't buy more fruit in the supermarket. All the fruit is here inside right now. <laughs> the same and tastier, better than the tutti fruit in the morning, in the buffet breakfast in your hotel. <laughs> we will never drink the wine immediately through our throat here. No, no, no. The wine will need to rest before between tongue and mouth. It's not like a sh tequila shot the pisco way. Immediately for the pisco, you drink a... <sighs> here not. We need to put this wine resting between tongue and mouth. How long? Between five up to 10 seconds. Most important, don't forget to breathe out. It's not worth to leave the wine here if you don't breathe. If you don't <laughs> breathe, it's just alcohol. In the swimming pool, alcohol in your mouth. Breathe out constantly, five up to 10 seconds even. Afterwards, finally, you can swallow the wine slowly. Once you do that, you need to exhale out deeply again for the first toast of the day for Joe and Line. Welcome Cheers. to Chile. Always exhale, breathe out while swallowing. You swallow, exhale. You swallow, exhale. Check the acidity, sour. Mm -hmm. It's sour. Mm -hmm. It's not sweet at all. It has to be acid, sour. Never sweet very refreshing it will provoke salivation no dry at all <laughs> humidity in your mouth it will provoke for you to feel hangry it's normal for a good <laughs> sauvignon blanc you like uh, seafood yeah oh absolutely, yeah, absolutely. like oysters mm. uh, shrimps shrimps eh? yeah uh, also sushi mm -hmm. cold sushi sashimi not too spicy not tempura <laughs> not hot but a cold sushi with this one in a Hot summer day in California, in Tiburon, in uh, Santa Monica. We have two girls here. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Gonzalo in the middle. This one. Perfect with this, guys. Also, green salads. Mm. They're fresh. Lemon juice is the best friend of this wine. Why? Because it's acidity. Any cooking process made of lemon juice, green salad, perfect chicken with turkey with a green salad with lemon juice perfectly also if you like for instance um, ceviche have you heard about ceviche, ceviche. Yeah. it's perfect because especially the Peruvian ceviche style the cooking process the same it's a raw fish raw fish just with lemon juice mm -hmm. on the top to give that fish a cooking method a cooking process in a tiny way it's so acid so sour it's perfect for this wine also tartar tartar no? the tartar the raw meat red raw meat lemon juice again is the only way to cook okay. that meat perfect for this wine always cold so four up to eight celsius degree is around in this one i think it's around 40 40 fahrenheit fresh mm. not frozen frozen is more refreshing but all the fruit aromas you will not perceive anything yeah, right all the free aromas like mm, it's just wine and alcohol so cold maybe 40 35 if you want could be maybe 35 Fahrenheit maybe very cold but not extremely cold winter or summer and never hot this wine hot it's like pizza for this one. No. <laughs> it's a waste of money brand Terunio Carmener the one I told you kind of similar to Merlot 2019 four years for the harvest season from Peumo, three hours driving south. This is too dry valley, too stony. They need sort of clay soil to produce, produce a really good wine for this. Percentage of alcohol, 14.5. Two more grades than the first wine. Happy New Year. <laughs> Mm. 
Have you seen before this one? This no. It's like a just it was a aluminium dish, like a it's just for uh, like a pour to make it so all the drops we get inside the glass. Look at the way. Look at the distance. You don't need a big to be strong with this one. Yeah. So all all the the drops of the wine will be inside. Glass. Any drop is not wasted, no wasted drops. For me too, also. Yes, a little bit. Of course, yes. It's part of my job. Yeah. <laughs> the same exercise like the other wine. We tilt the glass. A red ruby color with some violet notes. Some maybe instead of violet purple but it's from the top especially you will see there's not that uniformity there's not the same stable color that the first one in this case you will see a clear gap on the border of the glass slider than in the middle mm -hmm. the middle is slightly darker but in the border on the border of the glass is a small line lighter like a pink because this wine spends some time inside the barrel. Compared to the other wine, this one spent whole time. This one, no time inside the barrel. This one, cork, normal cork. 17 months, 17 months inside the barrel to get extra aromas. The wood of the oak, we work with two kinds of oak, American and French oak. In this case, French oak mainly for this one. What about the aromas? Oh, exactly. We need to spin the glass five up to ten, uh, five up to ten seconds. Guys, check the wood, the plum, some red berries, strawberries too. It's more strong than the other one. More complexity we will find here. Mm. Not just the fruits, not that, not just the wood, but tobacco, vanilla cacao or chocolate. And that's all coming from the barrel. That's mm -hmm. correct, the production. The same like the yep. whiskey. Yep. Huh? Like the Tennessee area. The barrel, the production through the fire. The yeah, smoke. Yeah, so are charred. Yeah. Is connected to the wood. So not just the wood itself, but also butter, cinnamon, very strange chemical reaction similar to that ingredients. You know, guys, I never buy any more expensive French perfume, which is this. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a Packer Band, a Gucci, Calvin Klein, Paul Gaultier. They are nice. But why? Because I have artisan perfume. Yeah. The same wood from your favorite Packer Band. Fresh wine therapy, aftershave too. The ladies got crazy. Oh, Gonzalo, what's this? That's wine. <laughs> Fresh wine from this morning. Right. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. I'm speechless right now. Sorry. Yeah, this is good. Oh, this is amazing. It's perfect middle term body wine. Sweet. But not extremely sweet, some acid, not acid like the first one, but that's a red wine, mm -hmm. not too dry, so friendly, moderate, balanced. But at the end, can you guys you feel, not at the beginning, here, like a slightly spicy thing, like a black pepper feeling. Mm -hmm. Once you swallow, like at the end, very slightly. That's the difference between Carmener and Merlot. Less sweet than Merlot, normally Merlot is slightly sweeter. Mm -hmm. This is a little more acid than Merlot. And that spicy feeling at the end. In terms of food, they are quite similar. Italian food. You like guys, a la like bol mm. bolognese lasagna? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Margarita pizza. Mm. Crunchy, crispy, mm. with a nice tomato sauce. Middle term food for a middle-term wine. Not barbecue, forget about barbecue. <laughs> I did it more than once. Oh, excellent wine, I tried, beautiful. 
I'll go for my porter house steak. <laughs> Come back. Oh, something happened. My lamb. I, that kind of meat overpowered the wine here. So, but other kind of meat. Fat, less meat in the oven, in a saucepan, like a meat pie, a smashed potato pie, a corn pie too. In Chile we have pastel de choclo, which means like a smashed corn pie with some chicken or red meat. Mm. It's a beauty. Try it. But this one is perfect. Sounds good. Any kind of Italian food, gnocchi, lasagna, pastas, fettuccines with a nice tomato sauce. And tobacco set, why? Cacao. Can you guys please check the aromas with the empty glasses? Check the aromas. Yeah. Check the, stronger. Check mm. the cacao right now. Once oh, yeah. the yeah. glass get emptier, the aromas get stronger. It's definitely chocolate. Vanilla, That's chocolate. Good. If you guys like a chocolate bar. Yeah. A nice Valentine's uh, gift yeah. mm -hmm. is a wine with a nut chocolate bar. Why? It's a dessert after that. A chocolate bar, cacao, bitter, not milky. I love Hershey's Milky Way, <laughs> Toblerone, Snickers. I eat it all the time, my friends. Night American bars, but not too sweet. But a nice cacao, bitter, 50 up to 70% of bitter cacao with this masterpiece it's amazing the carmen 18 19 dollars per bottle our best cost benefit brand we have the best buy wine we have even better than casillero del diablo 14 percentage of alcohol half grade less than carmen but quite stronger the seed is stronger in itself from my point from this lens from this area where we are right now finally yeah from the 2020 three years from the harvest season this is color is kind of different a blood color not violet not similar but more blood more mm -hmm. more Bordeaux more Dracula vampire This one is perfect for any grilled steaks, lamb, chicken wings, very spicy, and spicy food, Peruvian, Mexican food, Thai, Korean, doesn't matter. Even some sausages, very strong. It's time to prove it also. Strong cheese, brie, camembert, gruyere. Camembert, you. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. The king of the seeds of the wine, Cabernet Sauvignon. Less, uh, less sweet than uh, Carmener, mm -hmm. more acid than Carmener, yep. and quite drier yeah, than Carmener. Dry. How's your tongue? Yeah. yeah. Remember the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Just you can spit all the salad. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Like Dracula, take all your blood out. <laughs> Same like this. <laughs> the first one we say, okay, acidity with acid food, the second moderate food, but this one, okay. Oh, all the fat meat, so more humid, nothing like this. Yeah, that's the idea. In this case, the third one is the opposite. The strong cheese, so with a lot of grease and fat, the same with the meat, but if you mix together, the so opposite between them, but if you mix it, Everything will get balanced in your mouth. Compared to the others, it's not a good wine to drink by yourself one glass, two glasses without eating. You will, feel, you will be feeling hungry afterwards, actually. Yeah, yeah. A little more. If you drink more, if you drink more without eating anything of it, you will feel completely like, like sleepy. <laughs> because it's too strong. You like this one? I do. Joe like this one here. <laughs> around 42 Fahrenheit right now but the perception is even lower because the humidity 80% at least 80% of humidity to prevent the barrel from any breaking any twisting mm -hmm. any filtration of the wine capacity 200 225 liters or 300 bottles of wine 
that the size, the average size for any single cave of wine around the world for a good production of the wine. So the wine is in touch, is in touch to the walls of the wood every single time. Mm. We have around 2,000 barrels of it. But our best wine is not located neither in that one or in this one. But there, look at the name of it. Casillero del Diablo, in English, the devil's cellar. And the legend of the devil is waiting for all of us. <laughs> I cannot explain about it because it's a surprise. The explanation is waiting for you both. <laughs> Casillero del Diablo, the devil's cellar. given them a unique character. You, Melchor, are truly a visionary to have planted these grapevines here in our land in Pirque. This wine is exceptional. I've arranged to build a casillero at the far end of the cellar to keep our finest wines. Only those reserved for important occasions with our family and closest friends. There, the bottles will be able to rest in optimal conditions. Pass me the sacks! Careful with the bottles! Let's go! Hurry up before anyone finds us! That's almost all of them. Help me out! Let's go! Let's go! Hey, did you hear all the commotion last night? No. What happened? They robbed down Melcher's cellar. He is furious. He won't rest until he teaches a lesson to every last thief who dares to even come close to his wines. The thieves must be from nearby. Come on, Miss Emiliana. I overheard that her cellar is haunted. Yes. This morning, Don Melchor said that deep in his cellar lived the devil himself. Don Major spoke of the devil living there. You believe every rumor you hear. Don't be so frightened all the time. Day 
4th, not one bottle has been stolen from that Cassiano. And the word continues to spread that this cellar has a most mysterious guest, the devil himself. They even say that today, the rumor has grown into a legend known around the world. Welcome to the cellar of Cassiano del Diablo. <laughs> The image of the devil reflected on the wall at the back. That would mean that you are a sinner. Oh. <laughs> he's not Batman. He's not. He's not the new version of Batman. No. I mean, he is the devil himself. Oh, guys, that was Concha y Toro. Gonzalo gave us a great tour around the whole entire premise. Um, and I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome of that uh, for the, the amount of money that it cost, the time it took to get out here, uh, and the experience that we had. That was phenomenal. Um, we had three wine tastings, and each one of them was a little bit different, but each one of them was spectacular. So um, after that, <clears throat> we were pretty hungry, so we went inside the restaurant and had some, had some food. Uh, we both ended up having the filet uh, with some of the wine that we had during the tour and it was also phenomenal. So highly recommend this uh, as kind of like a half day trip I'd say. So for right now we're going to hop back on the bus and head back to Santiago and uh, we'll catch you guys there.